you first have to open up uh, applications and within applications you're gonna have to find utilities and then once you get into utilities you would have to open up keychain access once you're in keychain access you'll have to go up to the top left corner click on keychain access then click on certificate assistant and then request a certificate from a certificate authority now all you have to do is just fill out um, the email your name uh, the certificate authorities email you know and then pretty much generate an actual certificate this way you can choose to have the certificate emailed or saved on this um, but once you have it I have it saved on this so I already have one created over here so after you finish this page you can download or save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it to and that is the first step so this one I'm not gonna do because I already created <clears throat> so after you have created an actual certificate request you're gonna actually have to go and generate your certificate or create your certificate and to do that you're gonna need to first of all sign up for the Apple uh, Apple developer account you're gonna need to sign up for one of these accounts and because everything that you need to do with the iOS app needs to come from Apple developer everything you have to create needs to use Apple developer and once you're in there and you're signed in you have to go to the member center and look for certificates identifier and profiles then you can just click on this and go to iOS apps and first thing you can create is their cert certificates now uh, once you're in the certificate page hit the plus sign to create a new one and this is where you're gonna need to select the type of certificate you want the one uh, I'm gonna be using today is App Store and Ad Hoc so it signs the iOS app for submission to the App Store or for ad hoc distribution. So and then once I have that, click continue. And then it's gonna talk it's gonna tell you a bit about creating the actual certificate. You just read through this, and once you're done, you can click continue. Now, this is where you actually have to upload your CSR file. So this is the certificate that we have created earlier. So I can go to choose file and then go to desktop, select the certificate I created, click choose, and then click generate. Just, sit, uh, just let it load. There we go. Now that it's um, generated, you can just click on download let it download after it's downloaded double click it and then it'll ask you do you want to add it to the certificates just click add and you're all good you're done